Hey guys, I thought I'd uh, share a little more 8-ball luck, magic 8-ball luck. It seemed uh, it was really carrying on. I think, it's, uh, I think it's done now, but the other day I went by a tooling store, and that's a secret, I'm not going to tell anybody where it's at, um, but I came across these two guys, uh, both uh, CXA tool holders. One's a, uh, an Aloris, a uh, CXA2-S, and the other one is a uh, Dorian for a CXA. Well, uh, I asked the fellow what he wanted for these, and uh, we started at uh, 50 bucks a piece, and uh, I offered uh, 40 and he quickly took it, so maybe I was a little eager on 40 But uh, the real cool thing about this is both tool holders had extra tooling in it. Um, this, uh, this tool holder, the Dorian, had a, a Sandovic uh, T-Max Q-Cut. Um, and and these, both of these holders, while I look at that, they both, uh, they both will hold uh, one inch uh, tooling, which I didn't have any that uh, held that size. And the second one had this uh, blade adapter, so you could put a double-ended or single-ended parting blade in it, or go ahead and take take it out and just have the tool holder. So we kind of negotiated those were 40 bucks. And then I had a pile of items. And so he went and he priced the items. And uh, I think he uh, came back and said he wanted 25 bucks uh, for the two. There was a couple of these Dorian holders and I had some other things. Then I said, nah, I think I'll uh, just stay with the uh, the 40 buck purchase there. I was really happy with that. That was a super sweet deal. Well, he uh, he said, well, how about uh, 20 bucks for one of the holders and uh, and uh, you, you walk out with an even hundred dollar bill you spent. And I said, uh, I don't know, let me see what I got in my wallet. Uh, so I look and I had 80 bucks cash in my wallet. So I said, I'll tell you what, just give it to me all for 80 bucks. And he said, oh, what the hell, I'll throw the tool holder in for you. So walked out of there for 80 bucks and ended up uh, with this uh, tool holder basically for free, uh, I guess you'd say it, or discount the other guys. So anyway, I was, uh, I was a smiling boy when I left there. So to continue on um, with my luck, and I think it's run out now, but... This, this occurred right after that. Um, you guys may have seen in the background uh, a drill set, uh, fractional letter drills and number drills that I've had sitting there. Well, I bought this off of uh, Rutland or somebody way back went on a flyer for 35 bucks and I didn't have a full set of drills and, and I knew they weren't going to be great, but at least I had a, something to try to punch a hole. And I tell you, for the, I've just been frustrated as hell with this and been looking to replace it. Um, and as you know, a good quality set of drills costs, um, you know, north of $200, getting close to three. Well, I happened to find this online by just an odd search. <clears throat> and it's, um, it was uh, new old stock and it's uh, Chicago Lathrobe division of uh, TRW. Uh, and it's a full set, uh, 1 to 60, A to Z, and fractional, uh, in a Hoyt box. And uh, all brand new, haven't been used, and uh, paid uh, 150 bucks, including shipping. So, uh, real excited on that. Um, now I, uh, I'm going to be a happy boy when I, uh, and these, these I'm just going to keep when I'm not beating on something. This is just for for trying to do some precision work around here. But, so, things were good, and things got a little bit better. Let me, uh, let me pull the camera here. I'm gonna bounce around for a second. And uh, the, the next item I got, and I picked this up off. Um, this may look familiar. This is my uh, three-jaw chuck off my lathe. That's a buck adjusted true. Uh, you've seen it, and you've seen how I use the uh, broomstick handle for uh, taking it in out of the uh, out of the lathe. Well, and pardon my lathe. I'm in the middle of a job here, um, but I had to try it. 
So I ended up picking up this uh, three jaw chuck off of eBay for 150 bucks delivered. And the reason I was uh, really chasing this, uh, one, it had the LLO mount, which uh, fit my lathe. And uh, I mounted it on the lathe and basically got zero run out on the adapter plate. And uh, putting a pin in it, I got uh, about one thou total run out. Uh, if I extend uh, something short in the jaws, uh, they need to be ground. I'm, I'm a little, I'm like five thousand, something like that. But uh, my main reason of this purchase was the fact that it had the um, reversible and removable front jaws. As you know, my old lathe here uh, wasn't reversible and uh, did not have I mean, old lathe, old chuck, and didn't have the uh, the replaceable front jaws. So. Uh, real happy with this. Um, this chuck is a made in Italian by uh, MPT. I think it's Mario Pizzo. I think is the is the uh, manufacturer. So that's my addition, and uh, I think my uh, eight ball luck is uh, run out. Haven't scored in the last couple days, but uh, maybe that's good for my bank account. Anyway, uh, thanks guys for uh, stopping in on this shorty. And uh, hope you enjoy. Be back with you soon. One last item, a little flea market find. As I said, my luck was running out, but I uh, didn't find anything major. But grabbed uh, three of these yesterday. I uh, don't know if it's coming up, but they're Jorgensen uh, wood clamps. And they're uh, the 24-inch uh, uh, models. Uh, three of them for uh, 10 bucks. Uh, I was smiling on that deal also, and uh, just didn't happen to have this link, so that was uh, that was perfect. All right, I'm done, guys. Take care.